this. Sorry. You. This is a personal question now because like uh, you entered the creative industry and you was a philosopher, but just writing. Um, me myself and maybe some of the viewers here, they want to enter the creative industry, but they not. They may not have the degree. So first off, my first question before I get to my second one is, um, uh, how necessary is a degree um, for a creative, for a creative a professional? <laughs> I would lie if I say it's important. Mm. Um, I think it's not important. Mm. I think uh, before uh, to having a degree, well, to be uh, uh, two or three years in a school is important. First, because you need to, if you have not experienced drawing, for example, like today, uh, many people even don't know what is a drawing with a pen like I do. I work with my pen, I don't work with a computer. Well, I finish with, with a computer. Um, secondly, uh, I would say it's the the curiosity of the things, as I said before. So the school teach you well to know the basis of many many uh, areas. I don't know fonts, colors. Uh, in design, there are many areas. So you discover after you choose what you prefer to do, and once you know exactly what you want to do or you what you like. After you persevere and you need to work by yourself. And I think if you need to do your, your homework every day. <laughs> to, to be honest, uh, why also I became uh, at this level in design? I think it's because never I look behind, I always look in front of me. So, of course, I have done a bunch of works today. Um, I don't know, more than 500 cases in many, many industries. But to be honest, each time I begin a work, I am like a, 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 a newbie, a beginner, a rookie. But I have the experience. So, of course, I go f more far than the others. So for the young, let's start in a school, but don't trust all what they say. Mm, I think, you know, maybe you, you just made me think about something that I think it's okay not to have a, a degree in, in the creative industry, maybe the graphic design or art. It's actually pretty good to have that that maybe unrelated uh, field and then apply that to your art. For example, I have a business degree and I kind of apply that in a marketing sense. Like, exactly. That's actually pretty good. Um, so yeah, for, for my question is like, um, for someone who, um, who, who doesn't have that degree or is looking to become a, uh, an artist, what's the first step? You know, when we talked about um, off camera, how you promoted yourself, you went to you did PR, can you explain that? And how yes, important? well, I mean, uh, as I tell you, uh, when I begin my career in design, um, I came from philosophy, so nobody want to hire me. Mm -hmm. Secondly, I create a company called Raison Pure. Uh, Raison. What was the practical things that you started doing to put yourself out there? Is, is what I am explaining oh, you. Okay. So I begin with a company that I call Raison Pure. Mm -hmm. Raison Pure, it's in fact the title of uh, La Critique de la Raison Pure of uh, Emmanuel Kant. Mm -hmm. yeah, Kant is a German philosopher uh, who wrote this book. And uh, the, 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 my colleagues and uh, my pairs, well, at, at, this big, at this time they don't call me pair, but they were laughing about the name I choose, Raison Pure. But I say, okay, okay, you know, you will see. Uh, because I am uh, someone who, who has a big volunteer. I don't accept to give up. <laughs> so uh, I continue as far as I need to go, and I spend the time I need to, t to spend. So, well, it has been good. And the fourth uh, thing very important for anyone, I don't say this for the designers only, it's to be, uh, to listen. Mm. So to listen to people who have the knowledge and to learn from them. Okay, after, once you have listened, uh, you can choose your way. You can choose your, your own uh, way to, to do the things. And I decide to do the things like I, I have done. So my company grew uh, and grew uh, very fast. Uh, after five years, we have 45 uh, employees. We have a company in London. We have a company in New York. And uh, I, I, I left this company because I discovered these big systems, in fact, uh, produce, but don't do nice things. In fact, because you have a lot of employees, you need to have a bunch of work to do it fast, to have rentability. Mm -hmm. 
and this is the first stage when you are going coming to kill the creativity. Mm -hmm. So I decided to create a second group, uh, well, uh, it's called L'Atelier uh, de l'Esprit, and uh, this is, was a joke because de l'Esprit comes from a book of Hegel, but Hegel was the, the guy who wrote after Kant, so my first company, and I, I call this, uh, well, it was a private joke, but it was in my idea very good. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so I created this second company with a very less designers, and my designers, I choose them, all were beginners at the beginning, when I start. But I have teach to all of them. My, uh, my promise today is to say that I have, uh, I, I think now in France, you have uh, five big companies owned by people uh, I have, uh, have, who have worked with me. Of course, they have suffered with me <laughs> because I am a big worker, so I don't accept that people are not like me. And this is the problem of the people who begin by themselves. We don't accept uh, to be uh, to be weak. We, we need to be strong all the time, you know, because I, ha I, have, I have fought a lot to be recognized in my field. At the beginning, the people love of me. Even some told me at the very beginning, oh, Federico, he will never be a designer. He has never done a school. He can't. After 10 years and today, the same guys, I meet them, they say, oh yes, I always believe on you. <laughs> I say, okay, yes, okay, give me a break. <laughs> so this is a good lesson for the young designers. Don't give up. It's like uh, Nike or, you know, the, don't give up. Or, uh, <laughs> so when you want to do something, you need to observe. How do the others, what they do. You need to, 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 to meet the people, the good ones, not, the, the, not the, the bad ones, the good ones. Try to meet them a little. Even you do an internship, even if they don't pay you. But for two months in working with a big designer, worth most than uh, uh, two years in the university, even in the design school. Many, many designers now come to ask me this same question and uh, each time I say, if you have the chance to enter in a good company of design, even for three months, you don't earn nothing, don't ask for nothing, just come to learn. You, and you talk with the people and you look how they do. After these three months, you have learned more than one year in the school.